Welcome all. In this part, we are going to talk about 90% model review. In first and second part, we talked about 30 and 60% model review. So agenda in this video will be what is 90%? What are various objectives of conducting this 90% model review? And we'll also look at various checkpoints with respect to safety, civil and structure, mechanical, piping, electrical and instrumentation. So let us start with the topic. Now let us talk about 90% model review. What is 90% model review and few interesting facts uh, related to this. So first of all, this is the final model review. We talked about 30%, 60%. This is the final model review. We are saying we are at 90% design stage. That is the meaning of 90%. The design is almost final, right? The design contractor is claiming that design is almost final with all the data and information. This is really very critical uh, statement, data and information. Any data related to project specification, any information from vendor, any design requirement, calculations, everything is ready, right? That is the uh, main agenda of 90%, right? So we are saying 90% model review is the total design of the model. Anything which is which was planned as a design phase has to be complete. All the comments from 60% model review. First of all, anything which was open and which was carried out, carried over from 60% model review has to be resolved. Then 90% model review is carried out. So whatever open points were there during 60%, those need to be closed prior to 90%. If any confusion is there, if any concern is there which need to be discussed during 90%, that can be presented during 90%. There is no issue. Uh, there is no, we can always inform client that these are the few points which are still open, which where they need some information from other teams. For example, from construction operation or those points can be listed out and can be discussed openly. All drawings and specifications are ready. When we are saying 90% design, that means all drawings, all specifications, all deliverables, all vendor information, everything is ready, right? And incorporated in the 3D model also. Then we are saying 90% is the last stage where client is going to suggest or they are going to provide their observations, right? Minor changes can be accepted not major ones but minor ones can be accepted during 90 percent after 90 percent there is no scope of taking any additional uh, suggestions or changes this 90 percent model review will help in construction schedule right when we are saying our design is complete we can always plan the construction right phasing plan logistic plan right everything can be based can be planned, can be executed based on these parameters which are presented during 90% model review. So we can say during 90% model review, the model is substantially complete. Every information which was planned for design is ready, is incorporated in 3D model, including instrumentation and all manufacturer supplier information. All vendor information is ready, available, and incorporated in 3D model to allow final comments. Now let us look at uh, the main objectives of 90% model review. First of all, we have to ensure the design, final design, whatever the detailed engineering contractor has designed is acceptable, is accepted by client and all other stakeholders before publications, okay, before issuing all the construction drawings, right? So this is uh, required from detailed engineering contractor side also that they have shown everything to client and all other stakeholders and they have accepted their design, right? So completion of 90% means the acceptance of 90% if there are no major observations. It ensures that all operability accessibility which is provided by a design contractor is accepted by the client, right? So acceptance is the keyword. 90% model review is done with minimum observations. Then that means it is accepted. 
to ensure constructibility construction feasibility right along with operability accessibility construction feasibility is also ensured for all the components of the plant whether it is equipment whether it is piping or any structure or shelter or any equipment within the shelter every constructibility and its feasibility is ensured the objective here is to ensure the safety philosophies recommendations are implemented when we are reviewing the final stage of the model final stage of the design and it is accepted by all the stakeholders we are saying it is accepted design is complete we can go ahead with the issuance of construction drawings construction feasibility is reviewed safety philosophies are implemented right so that means the model reflects all the project requirements the all the scope is covered right all the design requirement project specification requirement code and standard requirements are fulfilled and shown to client and they are accepted that is the overall agenda objective of 90% model review now let us talk about 90% model review checkpoints there will be many checkpoints which has to be checked with respect to all the disciplines first of all let us talk about safety department all the safety checkpoints what are the various safety checkpoints which are checked during 90% model review now you look at the word final here okay so we are talking about the final design all the final checkpoints although most of these checkpoints are looked into during 30 and 60% model review also but 90% means final so final safety egresses routing plan escape routes right safety distances between equipment so all these things were discussed during 30 and 90% uh, 60% model review also but this time we are saying the final routing final escape routes final escape locations where operator is going to stay once there is an emergency how the safety distances are maintained final locations of equipment right so all those will be reviewed if required frozen location of flare right flare information its radiation zones its safety distance from uh, other associated uh, nearby units and equipment has to be finalized so this is looked into for the final time final fire hazard zone restricted zone impacted zone okay with respect to all the detailed design all the final design all the project requirement all the process requirement these zones are finalized so final zones will be reviewed final safety line saving equipment like eye shower eye wash safety shower these locations which were shown to the client operation team during 60% model review if any observations were there at that time or still if client says we need additional safety shower or not that requirement or the locations we have to review this is one of the major checkpoint during 90% model review so final review on access egresses for firefighting firefighting plays a very important role in any process plant safety so its network its hydro monitor locations its vehicle movement right so everything has to be reviewed very very seriously so this the access and egresses right so this will be one of the checkpoints from safety point of view fire and gas detector location this majorly comes from instrumentation and safety department so this is something which is majorly looked into during 90% model review only so all these locations detector locations will be looked into and this is one of the checkpoints so these are few of the checkpoints with respect to safety which is associated with any process plant and looked into during 90% model review in the presence of all the stakeholders from mechanical point of view there are few checkpoints which are reviewed during 90% model review for example all the process and utility hvac equipment whether all the equipments are modeled all the vendor information is available and incorporated in model all the small 
size nozzle rating associated connections all are modeled available or is there any information which is pending from vendor is there any hold with respect to any equipment those things are checked what we trying to say we we check with respect to the final design anything which is left that has to be noted down similarly for mechanical handling platforms and equipment anything which is pending has to be listed out but most of the time this has to be shown as a final design this is a major checkpoint whether how we are going to handle all these items whether the platforms are there accessibility is there ladder is there handrail is there opening doors are there so those design criteria those design requirements with respect to handling platform and equipment need to be checked then again packaged item now during 30 and 60% we talked about the packaged item and its orientation in 90% model review we assume that orientation was reviewed during 60% model review 90% is all about the small bore sizes specifically right is there any nozzle which has to be uh, like uh, on hold or any pending information is there all these small bore connections instrument connections with respect to packaged items are reviewed right accessibility to all small bore uh, valves instruments all those things are checked especially with respect to orientation and location whether the operator can get into the packaged item there is a proper accessibility or not with respect to all the items where access is required to operator so this is something which is checked during 90% model review in the presence of all these stakeholders for mechanical items now for piping items there are few checkpoints which are there for piping which are checked during 90% first of all all the process piping whatever is indicated in the pin id has to be modeled this has to be ensured whether it is small bore large bore instrument vent drains hydro, hydro test vent drains everything has to be modeled all utility networks all utility piping networks has to be modeled according to the pin id few of the utility Uh, networks input has to be given to process from piping side so that has to be modeled and the information need to be finalized in the form of pin ids also so those information to and fro which goes between piping and uh, process has to be finalized pipe supports <clears throat> okay in 60% the supporting is checked for large bore specifically all the stress packages Uh, supporting supporting criteria all those were checked during 60% in 90% the pipe support for small bore piping can also be checked so that is specifically for small bore right non critical piping although for particular stress package which was pending during 60% mold review can be checked during 90% all underground network with respect to any clash with foundation or any other underground facility any other open point which was there during 60 or 30% model review with respect to underground systems so that need to be checked all sampling connection corrosion fittings vent and drains so that means what we are trying to say during 90% everything which is there in the pnd has to be there in the model or as per the scope of the project there is nothing which is left so we have to present everything which is there in the scope to the client to all the stakeholders right so once we go through this we can start issuing the isometric for small bore piping also so these are few of the checkpoints with respect to piping which are checked during 90% model review now let us talk about few of the checkpoints related to electrical and instrumentation which are checked during 90% first of all secondary cable tray route to be included up to the equipment terminal box located in the electrical room so this routing of cable tray has to be modeled has to be clearly shown in the model right so that 
it is aligned we, we can ensure that it is aligned with the issued drawings or if not uh, issued then the drawings based on these can be issued so the final uh, look is uh, done during the 90 percent more review after that the drawings are issued to the site for site activities supporting of all the main and secondary cable trays whether it is at one meter two meter maybe one and a half meter all those supporting which is required as per design has to be modeled so that the accessibility and the durability of these supports can be ensured can be looked into right all the electrical and instrument cable trenches if any underground uh, trenches are there how the cables are rooted within the trench whether these are safe or not when these are coming out then how the bands are there how the interface with between above ground and underground is there so all those aspects are checked during 90 percent model review again as we talked about the mechanical piping and any other discipline electrical and instrumentation also the final design will be claimed it has it we need to ensure that each and everything is final at this stage so we ensure that the design is complete with respect to each and every aspect especially related to electrical instrumentation now let us see what are the few checkpoints related to civil and structure all the main roads secondary primary road crossing bridges culverts these has to be modeled as per final information there is no uh, information which is pending so final design has to be presented all infrastructure building known process building any other shelter like buildings everything has to be modeled shown as per drawings okay so we are presenting the final infrastructure to the client to the operation team to the construction team to the erection team right so that they are clear what they are going to do in next phase pipe rack design what kind of footings are there how much spacing is there right at bottom at top what kind of platform is there at top psv platforms how we are going to access these platform whether primary secondary access is provided whether staircase is there monkey ladder is there all those design aspects requirements has to be reviewed now everything we are saying is final 3d model has to be uh, there for all these associated items all civil structure interceptor if no treatment plant related things right final model has to be presented maybe at few stages we can look into the drawings also but it what maximum information has to be there in the 3d model so that it can be visualized by all the team members all major supporting foundations right whenever we talk about foundations special uh, attention is given to the interference with respect to other underground facilities for example fire water cooling water networks are there which generally get clashed with the underground foundations right so whatever members are there which we are going to support with the help of foundations need to be reviewed for interference all the trench layouts any electrical or piping elements which are there in the trench we need to review what kind of interfaces are there how we are supporting within the trench and how we are maintaining the water logging how we are uh, getting uh, rid of uh, the constraints which are there with respect to rain for these trenches so all those draining arrangement all the design requirements all the project specific requirements whatever is there in the scope of that uh, particular item that has to be checked so we are saying everything with respect to civilian structure has to be complete modeled and presented during 90 percent model review so in this part we talked about what is 90 percent model review what are its objectives and we talked about various checkpoints with respect to safety civil structural mechanical piping and electrical and instrumentation so this was all about 90 percent model review don't miss the link given for quiz in the description box so thank you for watching see you in the next part